All right, guys, welcome back to the second installment of this series we're doing for all of the drivers that were in the World of Outlaws 2002 PlayStation 2 game. And I just found out after I posted the first one that the game was actually on PC as well. I did not know that. I wish I did know that because I've been a PC gamer basically my whole life and probably would have played that on the play or on the um, on the computer as well. But nonetheless, we are here today talking about Jason Myers, uh, the two-time World of Outlaws champion, and he was known as Hotfoot. Now, is it just me or I feel like every driver that was in the series back then and the drivers that were in this game, they all had great nicknames. Jason Myers, Hotfoot out of Clovis, California. He is now obviously retired and is now the car owner for Corey Day, who races in the uh, Highland Racing Series. And so let's get right into it here with Jason Myers. He began his full-time World of Outlaws career in 2001, much like what we had with uh, yesterday with Craig Delansky. He also started his career in 2001 uh, as far as a full-time driver. In 2001, he had 93 starts. He did pick up a win his first, uh, first year out. That win came at the, the Knoxville Raceway. Eight top fives, 25 top tens. He was 14th in points, and that was driving the DOCC number 20 car, and that's the car that you see uh, in the 2002 game. Now, speaking of 2002, Jason Myers does not come back to the Outlaw Tour, interestingly enough. Uh, the game came out, obviously, for the year of 2002. They got all of the information for the game in 2001, but in 02, Myers goes back and runs with the King of the West Sprint Car Series or NARC, whatever it was back then. And uh, so he does not run with the Outlaws. He does a little bit, but not full-time. Runs KWS full-time, ends up third in points in 02. 2003 goes back on the road, got 62 starts with the Outlaws in 03. Five wins, 24 top fives, and 47 top tens. He ended up ninth in points, and he was actually subbing in for Craig Delansky. Now, I did not plan on doing you know, Craig Delansky and then Jason Myers on purpose. I just, I don't know why. I just decided to do Jason Myers. And it's interesting to find out that in 03, we talked about it yesterday with Delansky, that he got in an injury, or he got injured, I should say, at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And I want to say it was like an Indy car or Indy light car or something like that. And had some back issues, had to sit out almost the uh, entire season. And Jason Myers actually filled in for him in the Caravan number seven car. And that's what he got all of these uh, stats for. So 62 starts, 5 wins, 24 top 5s, and 47 top 10s. Uh, Delansky would return to the seat at the very last two races at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. 2004, Jason Myers is back, this time driving the Elite number 14 car. And as far as I know, I think that from, from here on out, those it's all the same car. Uh, on the third turn.com, it has Elite. It has a GLR Investments. It has another one, Elite Landscaping or something. But I think they're all relatively the same car owner. But in 04, 79 starts, 5 wins once again, 23 top 5s, 48 top 10s, and ends up 5th in the World of Outlaws points in 2004. Now, 2005, this is the best season he's ever had so far. 83 starts, 4 wins, 28 top 5s, and a staggering at 63 top 10 finishes so only 20 races, he was outside the top 10. He finishes second in points, 543 points behind Steve Kinzer. Insane amount of, I, I want to look, I can't wait till we get to Steve Kinzer's video and look at 2005 because these numbers for Myers are pretty darn good and he was still 543 points behind. That is insane. 2006, Jason Myers goes and runs with NST. So that was, uh, you know, USA and NST were the, um, I guess the high limit of uh, back in the day, those were the two um, series that kind of came in and were trying to compete with the World of Outlaws. And Jason Myers tries and goes and runs with NST in 06. Does not win the championship. I think he runs like third in points that year. But in 07, uh, you know, NST shuts down. He comes back to two, in 2007. 74 starts, five wins again, 34 top fives, 49 top tens, and slips back to fifth in the point standings. 2008, 63 starts, eight wins, the most he's ever had in one single season, 48 top fives and 55 top 10 finishes. He is 222 points behind Donnie Schatz in that championship. So he's much closer than he was in 05, but still that's a lot of ground to make up in 2008. Now 2009, another good season, 65 starts, nine wins this time, the most he's ever had, 34 top fives. So 
Top fives definitely go down, but 55 top tens again. And he finishes second by just 19 points behind Donnie Schott. So he's getting closer and closer and closer with every single year that goes by. And then finally, in 2010, it all comes together. 69 starts, which is nice. 12 wins, 36 top fives, 56 top tens. And he wins the championship in 2010, kind of ending the uh, dominance that Donnie Schott's had there for a the couple of years. Uh, what, from like, I think it was like 07 maybe to 2010 or 06 to 2009, I should say. So he gets his first Royal Outlaws championship in 2010. And then in 2011, comes back out and does it again. 65 starts, 9 wins, 41 top fives, 56 top tens. And he wins the championship once again over Donnie Schatz, I believe, in 2011. Now, it might have been somebody else. I don't remember. Uh, but that's what we're going to go with. I, I, I'm guessing Donnie Schatz ran second back in 2011. Uh, the accolades for Jason Myers, there are a lot of them. So before he became a full-time outlaw driver in 2001... He was the World of Outlaws Gum Out Rookie of the Year in 2000. That was actually the same year that Craig Delansky, who we talked about yesterday, won the championship with Gum Out. 2010, he won the Gold Cup Race of Champions. 2011, he actually swept the weekend at the National Open at Williams Grove Speedway. Also in 2011, maybe his best year of his entire career, he had five wins in a row with the World of Outlaws, and it was like Lernerville, it was both nights at the, King, or at the, at the National Open, and uh, two other races in there as well, but five wins in a row with the Outlaws in 2011. 2010, he won the Ironman 55 at Peebley, Missouri. In 2010, he also swept the World Finals at the Charlotte Motor Speedway Dirt Track. Won the 2011 Commonwealth Clash at Lernerville. He has four All-Star Circuit of Champions wins. He was the 2008 Brad Doty Classic winner, and he also has 13 wins with the King of the West Sprint Car Series. And I also believe he had he has second place finishes at both the Knoxville Nationals and at the Kings Royals. So he nearly got the triple crown of wing sprint car racing, the three big uh, crown jewels. He nearly won all of those, but was only able to win one of them, that being the National Open. Now, his full-time World of Outlaws career before 2001 and after 2011 includes all of those starts. 755 career starts with the Outlaws. 58 wins, putting him at 16th on the all-time win list. 288 top fives. That's 38% of the time he was in the top five. And 491 top 10 finishes, putting him at 65% of the time he is in the top 10 with the World of Outlaws. Now, um, that's all we've got here for Jason Myers. It's still crazy to think that, you know, he went out on top. 2011, he retired. I mean, he kept racing a little bit uh, part-time but did not run full-time with any series, I believe, after 2011. Maybe with King of the West, but I have to double-check on that. Uh, but, you know, there were some crazy things that went on behind the scenes and whatnot. And Jason Myers went out as a champion. My dad always said, you're only as good as your last race. And for Jason Myers, you're only as good as your final championship or your final uh, full-time season. He was the champion in 2011 for his final season. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on Jason Myers. Tomorrow we'll be back with another driver here on the channel. Let me know who you would like to see uh, down in the comment section below. Who should we talk about next from the 2002 PlayStation game? Uh, if you can get it in quick enough, I can get it on the board for tomorrow. Once again, thank you guys so much for the support. Hopefully you hit subscribe. Hopefully you hit like, comment down below, and we will see you guys here tomorrow.